All right. Um, great. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, let's start a recording and we'll get the meeting started now. I uh, want to remind everybody real quick on logistics that um, I ask everybody to mute themselves if you're not speaking. And, um, you know, uh, <laughs> I, I think uh, things went a bit more smoothly on the connection, but, uh, you know, if we end up having more problems, we'll, um, I'll simply end the meeting and follow up with an email to folks about either rescheduling or uh, any follow up matters. Um, this meeting is being recorded as soon as possible. We'll put the recording up to the district's Office of Open Government website. And uh, I guess to get going, we'll I'll take a roll call for advisory group members and then any visiting attendees. So um, start with advisory group members. Uh, Don Brayman. Present. Excellent. Uh, Paul Butler. I believe Paul is not joining us this morning. Helder Gill. I don't see Helder on the list here either. So uh, Laura Hankins. Present. Dave Rosenthal. Present. Alana Suttenberg. Great. And Kevin Whit Whitfield. I'm here as well, though I'll have to drop off right, right around 1030. I may be able to rejoin later, though. All right. Um, and let's see. I uh, I don't believe uh, Seema Gejwani or Nishant Kirikat are on. Are either of those folks on, though? Uh, yeah, this is Seema. I'm sorry. I was having a little oh. bit of connection trouble. I'm here. Great. Glad, glad you were able to get on. Um, good. And you made it into the panelist pool. So good. Um, and uh, Katya Simonova. Hi, yes. <laughs> Great. Um, excellent. OK, so I think that covers everybody. Um, we have all the staff on the phone as well. Uh, and yeah, um, excellent. Well, again, I apologize for any technical difficulties. It sounded like for most people it went smoothly this morning, but uh, uh, I, please do follow up with me if you have a problem that uh, seems to be on our end. I know sometimes the WebEx uh, applications do, uh, if it's not in your network or and it's kind of like mm, you're invited to like a more public thing, like just coming to your email, it uh, approaches that a little bit differently and it may connect to your account a little differently. Um, so that might be part of the issue that's going on. But um, yeah, so, uh, We'll go ahead and get going. Announcement-wise, uh, there's actually, um, I don't have any announcements per se. Uh, we, I just to give you a brief update where we are though as staff, and this kind of goes in the conversation I wanna have uh, at the end of the meeting about um, kind of looking forward, but uh, staff is uh, doing its best right now to uh, work up the comprehensive update. Um, and I think at this point, uh, realistically, we're aiming for the uh, the end of December. Um, I'll leave that a little bit vague, but say the end of December uh, for release of that. And um, that will again be a full update to everything that's been released so far. Um, uh, trying to address your comments, it will continue to have Again, uh, what we had before in an Appendix D or Appendix D1, this will have an Appendix D2 that kind of addresses each of the comments we've had in the interim since the last uh, major update back in the spring. So um, that will be kind of a, um, a cheat sheet to go to, to kind of look for where there might be changes. They'll be referenced. Um, we'll also, again, have a red inked version of the um, statutory language which is another kind of uh, you know shortcut for you to look at and see where changes have been made, and then maybe go further to um, look into follow up. But you know the documents will include full updates to commentary um, as well as statutory language, and um, again the appendix D on kind of addressing uh, the comments we've received in the interim. So that whole package will be coming out, I, I hope here uh, in, in late December. We're working hard at it and uh, it's a little, uh, you know, unpredict unpredictable these days when, um, you know, an illness or something else comes up that uh, interferes with uh, our 
capacity, which is a bit fragile these days, but we uh, we are aiming for that. Um, and our next meeting for the advisor group is planned for January 6th. So hopefully by that next meeting, um, we will have that out and you'll have had a chance to at least um, take a preliminary look um, at what the package is and we can address any comments about, um, yeah, kind of, you know, organization and kind of, you know, expectations uh, for what is what you find before you. Um, again, I'll kind of hold off further uh, discussion about like uh, the March vote and kind of lead up to that until um, first we check in on any uh, questions about the uh, written comments we received on uh, reports 63 to 67. Um, so let me go ahead and um, move on to that um, on the agenda. So um, we received, you know, a number of comments uh, from all the agencies on um, uh, report 63 to 67. We've discussed some um, of these matters, I think have come up in prior discussion, but um, uh, I wanna thank everybody, particularly with respect to the, the defenses. Um, uh, there were some very helpful comments and we, um, are definitely working to address them. So there will be, again, updates to those defenses in this December packages, this December package. Um, some of them will be, you know, substantive, some of them will be minor, but, um, you know, uh, this was a first draft at something that is uh, obviously very important, but also uh, uh, entirely new to the district in terms of codification. So um, uh, we hope that this next round will, uh, be able to reach a point where uh, there's general agreement uh, on the language, but um, uh, understand also that uh, it's a bit more in development than uh, some, of the, some of the other pieces. So uh, we as staff don't have any questions, I think at this point. Um, and uh, I think, you know, going through the written comments, uh, it's pretty clear where, where folks uh, stands for. We may continue to have some follow-up questions for people individually. But um, uh, we don't have any questions at this point on those reports. So let me turn it to you all and see if there's anything that you all wanted to raise on reports 63 to 67. So this is the defenses, but also contributing to the delinquency of a minor, uh, dogs at large, and uh, misrepresentation as a district entity. Um, any, anything that advisory group members want to raise for the full group on those? All right, well, um, I'll, I'll assume nobody's still fumbling for the uh, unmute button, um, but it sounds like, uh, yes, uh, we'll um, take those written comments and just move forward with them. Uh, again, we will be addressing all of them, you know, in, in some respect in our, in our Appendix D as to like, you know, whether they're incorporated or partially incorporated. And um, again, very much appreciate all of you um, uh, taking the time to, to work through that. It's a, Anytime we hit a new kind of conceptual area, it requires a kind of <laughs> more thinking. And uh, I know, yeah, it, very thankful for your time on that. Um, well, let me go ahead and move forward on the agenda. You know, the last item we, I have on there is discussing the timing and the framing of the uh, March group vote. Um, and just I give a little bit of a preliminary sense of uh, kind of where I'm coming from and uh, thinking. And then uh, I'd love to kind of hear any additional feedback um, people have, or if you want to discuss it as a group, um, uh, other alternatives, great. I'm also, again, of course, you know, available if, if people down the road <laughs> uh, in a couple of months, um, uh, really kind of right up to the time of the vote, I'm very open to hearing concerns or questions about that process. So, um, you know, Here's what I'm thinking. You know, I, I, I think at this point, uh, we will uh, plan to have just one vote, um, not bifurcating or, or otherwise uh, kind of dividing uh, vote over uh, certain recommendations versus others. Um, so uh, what we'd be looking for is one single vote. Um, 
focused on you know the statutory language, but also including the commentary. Those are the two pieces which have been you know kind of uh, continually put forward to the advisory group. Uh, the package that will go to the um, uh, council and mayor, the recommendations uh, will include a number of other. Uh, you know, it will include the, the record for all the comments that you have submitted in writing. It will include our responses to those, the, again, the APD, APD1, APD2. It will include a, a, the statistics, and I hope by then uh, we will have another full set of updated statistics. Again, as I mentioned, having some different cutoff points. Uh, there's a chance we will uh, have 2020 statistics uh, from the court uh, available and analyzed. I think that's unlikely <laughs> given given the timeline uh, previously for uh, getting those from the court and um, our ability to kind of uh, analyze those but um so th so there'll be some other aspects of the package that goes out to the mayor and the council but the aspects that will be voted on right are the ones that you have continually reviewed and uh, will continue to um, you know be updated here in december um that's again the statutory language and the commentary the vote will have, uh, you know, as part of the vote, will um, it'll be a general up or down, uh, but, um, you know, uh, abstentions, I think, are also possible. Um, uh, I hope that, uh, you know, if anybody has, you know, uh, concerns uh, about um, their vote, I'd, I'd love the opportunity to uh, discuss those beforehand. Again, I understand it may be a last minute call, but uh, if, uh, I'd appreciate a, you know, any heads up about um, you know, abstentions or uh, you know, uh, votes against the package. Um, you know, love to hear kind of you know, some of the reasoning and see if there's anything we can do. Uh, but of course, we're getting to, <laughs> we are to the end. And um, so, so again, paint out the timeline for this a little bit more. Um, so we'll get out this, this update here at the end of December. Um, we'll give a, about a month for comments on this last package, um, probably not more than a month. Um, so then we're looking at uh, end of January due date for comments. I realize that is incredibly short and that is very tough um, on you all. Uh, the silver lining here is that the points of change are, uh, you know, uh, while there might be many small ones that are stylistic or dealing with things that were raised, you know, minor points in the comments, uh, there will be relatively few major changes. And again, those will be spelled out in the Appendix D um, and uh, read in the statutory language. So um, hopefully you'll be able to have that month to really kind of focus on the major pieces that have uh, switched, um, changed in that with this December update. When we get back the written comments from you all, the end of uh, January, perhaps early February, but I, I I really think it's probably going to have to be end of January because we as staff then kind of have our last chance to do, you know, again, everything from technical, stylistic, you know, type typographic uh, corrections um, and any more substantive work to try to like uh, hammer out something uh, before reissuing the final draft uh, to you all in uh, early March. So uh, possibly the end of February, but more likely early March. Uh, the idea is you would all have at least a couple of weeks to look over the final draft before the vote. Um, and I'm, I'll, I'll email this separately because I, I want to make sure it's in writing before you. But you know, um, I'm hoping that we can reserve uh, two dates on, on the Wednesdays, on, or actually three Wednesdays to hold for the mornings, uh, the last, uh, I guess three Wednesdays in March, uh, the 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th. Um, those mornings, kind of our usual time. Um, I suspect what I'd like to do is, you know, and again, I'll put this in an email, but ask everybody to hold those mornings. Uh, obviously, if we need to reschedule, we, we will. Um, and, you know, uh, this is a, a must for voting members. So we will find, we will work to find a time for all voting members to be. Um, available then. And I think the actual vote itself will probably be on the, the, the 23rd, um, that middle date. And the reason I want to kind of at least kind of uh, uh, for now pencil in the other dates is to have some alternatives. Uh, you know, if something comes up, uh, 
definitely want to have the, the, the very end backed update, but um, I think we should plan to, uh, you know, meet on the 23rd, again, assuming that is uh, workable for everybody in the morning, and have the vote then. That gives a few days beyond that to, again, kind of uh, wrap up any stylistic things, any kind of, you know, purely technical last minute uh, matters, uh, <laughs> formatting to us to the very end with documents this large and extensive. Um, uh, so to get that together and uh, transmit it then by the March 31st uh, deadline, uh, which we have uh, by statute. So uh, that's Richard, the, yes, yes. Did you, did you say Wednesdays? Because those, the dates that you gave are Tuesdays. Oh dear. Um, I had in mind Wednesdays and I may have, uh, Oh, you're right. Off by numbers. So it should, it, uh, the, the, the 24th and the 31st. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I wonder what year I was looking at. Um, uh, good. Well, a, a, and, and I may need to adjust it then too. I, you know, uh, you're careful about technicalities, but the language of our statute is by the 31st. So, um, uh, you know, for for a backup date, might end up choosing something like uh, the 30th then, or or the 29th um, for a very end fallback date. Um, but like I say, I will I will send those in in email. Um, but I think that the mingle then should be the 24th would be the correct number instead of the 23rd. My apologies. So the 24th is what we would aim to have the vote on. Um, and yeah, uh, that's that's the general plan um, now. Again, uh, you know, these are difficult times for uh, everybody in terms of um, uh, communications and, and health and uh, certainly, um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, the courts will be opening. A, a lot of things will be starting to um, uh, shift back into more of a normal range uh, by the end of March, but, um, you know, <laughs> we'll see. Um, uh, I think this timeline gives us enough to uh, do well by everything that we have out. I don't know that we will be adding uh, much, if any, additional new work uh, out there before the submission of this set of recommendations on March 31st. Um, we have hopes and aspirations on that, but, um, uh, you know, even for a couple of offenses, but um, I think our, our workflow now is just not gonna make that possible. So uh, most likely uh, everything you've seen, <laughs> the scope of everything so far, there won't be most likely any additional offenses. Um, and you'll just have this uh, update in December, the end of December to look at, um, get back comments from that the end of January. Um, We'll review to staff, turn that around in about a month and the end of February, early March, uh, issue the final recommendations uh, and the end of March, we'll have the vote. Uh, again, targeting the 24th, but I'll follow up in an email in case you know we need to find an alternative. Um, so that's, that's the overview. Um, and yeah, I guess with that, um, and, and, and I guess maybe the last thing I'd say too is again, the, I, I think the particular language of the that people are asked to vote on uh, matters, right, uh, in detail. And um, I will definitely uh, submit that uh, beforehand to everybody so they can kind of see that. That may only be the week before. Um, maybe we'll be able to um, uh, do that earlier. Um, and again, I'm open if uh, any of the advisory group members have concerns about how that should be drafted. Uh, but um, yes, we'd love to hear your input on that. Our goal is to, you know, present a package to the mayor and the council that with as much support as possible um, and as good a package as possible. So, um, you know, <laughs> uh, I understand there are many considerations, particularly for the agency members. Um, on how they take stances on different things. But, um, uh, you know, there will be obviously uh, opportunity down the road uh, for folks to speak with uh, council members and uh, you know, council staff about, uh, you know, further changes. But 
uh, we would like to issue this package with a very kind of uh, you know, clear uh, direct handover uh, to begin the legislative process. All right, uh, any, any other uh, comments, questions, um, discussion folks wanna have about this kind of like uh, timeline and uh, process here for the issuance of the uh, recommendations in March? All right. Well, um, and I guess I would note, I, I believe Nishant has uh, joined us. Is that is that true? I'm seeing Nishant now in the queue. Yes, hello, Richard. Hello, good morning, thank you. Um, we'll, we'll mark you in uh, with the uh, uh, the roll call here. Um, so, so yeah, I, again, um, you know, I, I realize there are a number of factors, again, um, as uh, the new year begins and um, uh, there may be changes once um, uh, you all consider, you know, your positions on the uh, final draft. And uh, I welcome comments at any point down the road. Okay, so again, uh, you know, if there are particular concerns you have about the package, I've spoken with many of you individually and as a group before about, you know, your concerns, but, you know, I'm definitely uh, would welcome more, more input on kind of what as we as we reach kind of this <laughs> this goal, uh, what more uh, you know are your top line concerns or questions? So um, don't hesitate to reach out to me on that. Um, but if there are no other questions, uh, we can go ahead and call it a wrap for this meeting. Uh, again, January sixth, first Wednesday in uh, uh, January. Although now I'm going to check that date since I got the last one wrong here. Um, yeah, January 6th, Wednesday, January 6th is gonna be our next advisory group meeting. And um, again, by then we should have out the uh, uh, the full comprehensive update and uh, we'll welcome questions on it then. Um, otherwise, thank you all uh, for joining this morning and uh, we'll call it a meeting. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thanks Richard. Thanks.